fun we will talk about the signaling game so this is the Bayesian game okay so the sequential Bayesian games so we will use this job market signaling game to describe this Bayesian sequential games okay so first player one is the worker so they can be either highly productive or low productive workers H and L okay player is the applicant while player 2 is the HR so he or she is considering whether to recruit the workers okay so the HR knows that if this high highly productive workers they can help the firm to generate profit pie and minus the wage for the cost of the workers if the labor is low low level okay so they cannot generate profit and but they have to pay w for wage so the hr cannot observe whether the worker is high quality or low quality but she can observe the education level such that to predict what is the quality of the labor so here the workers will try to see whether he or she should invest in education so if the workers want to invest in education they will in they will incur some educational cost so say if it's highly productive workers the cost is ch and if it's low quality workers the cost is cl so obviously assume that CL is greater than CH that means for the low productive workers it will require more cost in receiving the education okay since player 2 does not know the quality of the workers so she will place some probability so she will place PRH for highly highly productive workers and the PRL for the low quality workers Okay, so the Nash equilibrium can be found that it to compare the expected payoff. So, if player two observes player one choose educations, okay, so player two can observe player one choose the, the decisions. So, the expected payoff. of offering the job offering the job so in short j okay is the probability of high given education times the value of pi minus w plus the probability that this low work low low quality workers with education times the value so this is equal to probability h given e pi minus w plus 1 minus probability h given e and minus w which is equal to probability that h given e times pi minus w okay so if the if the hr wants to select j given e so this payoff should be greater than not giving the job and the payoff will be zero because there are no workers so this condition means that the probability h given e should be greater than w over pi such that the hr will choose to recruit the workers given she observed the workers receive the education okay so the remaining question is that how to find the equilibrium okay find how to find the large equilibrium so it depends on what situation are this economy facing or what which condition are satisfied okay so it can be various equilibrium as a result first it may be a separating equilibrium separating equilibrium means that the each player one will choose the different strategies say so you have high quality labor and low quality labor so high quality labor will choose education 
and low quality worker will choose not education. Okay, as a result, the probability of H given E is equal to the probability of L given not education and equal to 1. And probability of H given not education and probability of L given education is 0. Okay. So here says that the highly productive worker should receive education, choose to select receive education, while the low quality workers choose not to receive education. Okay. So in this case, for player 2, so if, if she observes education and choose over the job, it means that the pi minus w is greater than zero. Okay. And if she observes no education and she offer no jobs, so it means zero is greater than negative w. Okay. So because this must be the low quality workers and this must be the high quality workers. So the next step to see whether this is a Nash equilibrium, we are going to see that whether player one will deviate. Okay, for player one will they deviate. First take a look of the high quality workers. So that if he receives education, he will get W minus C H. While if he does not receive education, he will get zero. And for the low low quality workers, again you do this if he receives education, this is W minus C L. If he does not receive education, he got zero. So if we want to ensure this case to happen, we want to we need to ensure this case. Okay. Such that the high quality worker will receive education and low quality workers does not receive education. So the condition of having a separating equilibrium is C H is smaller than W and smaller than CL. Okay. The cost of receiving education for low quality workers is too high, higher than the wage, while the wage is higher than the cost of having the education for the high quality workers. As a result, the separating equilibrium can be achieved. Okay, so the separating equilibrium is not the only case. So you may have other equilibrium. The second equilibrium may be the pooling equilibrium. So pooling equilibrium means that the, all the player one would do the same action. Say they will receive, they will all receive the education. As a result, for player two, probability of H given E is equal to probability of H, and probability of L given E is also the probability of L. So this means that given one applicant say, oh, I receive the education. So this does not give extra information for the HR because all the applicants take the educations. Okay. So what is the Nash equilibrium? For player two, she will always choose this charity. So she offered a job for the educations and no job for the no education. This is because if if she does not use this strategy, say she offered a job for not education, then in this case the high quality workers will deviate. Because in this case no matter whether the high quality workers receive education or not, he will be recruited. As a result, he rather not to receive the education to save the course. Okay, so this is the only way for player two. So as a result, if we want to prove this to happen, so player two will, okay, if we'll do this, if he re, if he observe education, and she will offer J, so this means probability of H times the value plus probability of L times the value is greater than zero. 
zero means that if he observe education and select not to give the job okay so this means that probability of h is greater or at least not smaller than this okay so if this happen if this condition happen if the applicant has received education so the hr will over the job and the second case is if she observed no education she should offer no jobs so this condition should be greater than observing no education and giving the applicant a job okay so this is zero which is greater than the probability of h given not education and the value of hierarchies plus probability of low with no education and the value of low quality workers so it means that the probability of h given no education is smaller than w over pi so as a result to ensure the pooling equilibrium to happen the condition is probability h given not education is smaller than w over pi which is smaller than the probability of high quality workers okay so this means that in the society the probability of high quality workers with no education is very small okay so this is some pessimistic pessimistic view the pessimistic view should be smaller than some value and the probability of having high quality workers the optimistic things should be sufficiently large so as a result the pooling equilibrium can happen okay finally is the hybrid equilibrium so this is the most advanced concept so hybrid equilibrium means that for the difference player one some will choose the certain action for sure and some will use the mixed strategies so here for hybrid equilibrium we mean that for player one the high quality workers will always receive education and for the low quality workers so they will receive education with probability e and no education with probability one minus e okay so then what should player two do player two can offer j to education applicants with probability small letter j okay so the hr observed that okay the applicant received the education and the hr gives the job with probability pay with probability j okay and no job to no education okay so now to solve the Nash equilibrium we need to find the optimal e and j okay so this is um, basically we are doing we are trying to solve the mixed strategies okay so first we use the backward induction to show us what is the optimal j okay so now the probability of high quality worker given education is equal to probability of high quality workers over probability of high quality workers plus e the portion of the low quality workers this is equal to plh divided by plh plus e times 1 minus plh okay so the denominator is all the educated workers and the numerator is only the high quality workers okay so for the low quality workers in order to ensure the low quality workers to choose the mixed strategies so they should ensure the payoff for education and not education to be the same okay so payoff of education should equal to payoff of not education so what is the payoff of education this is w minus cl but j 
just J probability can get the job. So J W minus C L equal to not education zero. So we can see that the optimal J is C L over W. Okay. So again, for player two, we have the mixed strategies. So what is the optimal? So then we can find the optimal E. Okay. For player two, how to ensure she will make the mixed strategies? Okay. So she will make the mixed strategy as long as it is in difference to over J and not J. Okay. For giving for selecting J, the expected payoff is probability x given E and the value plus probability of L given E with the value of low quality workers. So this is offering J and this is offering not J. This is it should be equal to zero at the end. Okay. As as a result, she will use the mixed strategies. So we will get this for the left hand side and we will derive this result at the end. So we will put this result back to the portion of educated workers. Okay. Then we will get W over pi equal to PLH divided by PLH plus E one plus minus PLH. Okay, so by solving it, you will see that optimal E is equal to pi minus W times PLH divided by W times one minus PLH. Okay, so the low quality workers will select the probability E to equal this number to do the mixed strategies okay so we have finished that player 2 and low quality player 1 will use the mixed strategies so given these mixed strategies will the player 1 deviate especially for the high quality worker will, will, will they deviate so the answer is no because in this case player 1 choose to educate receive education so he will get J star W minus CH. So J star W is equal to CL. Okay. So CL minus CH, this is the payoff of receiving education and get a job. So this is bigger than re not to receive education because not to receive education, he will not be recruited and get the payoff zero. So he, he will not deviate because he can get a positive payoff. Okay, so this is the concept of the Bayesian sequential game.